driver's seat. Be sure to position the seat so that you can comfortably reach the pedals and have a clear view out of the vehicle. Position the side mirrors so that you can view vehicles to the left and right of your vehicle. Position the rear view mirror so that you have a full view out of the rear of your vehicle. In most cars the handbrake works only on the rear wheels. When the lever is up, the brakes are on. To turn the handbrake off, lift the lever slightly, press and hold the button in and push the lever down all the way. To turn the handbrake on, press and hold the button in and pull the lever up. The handbrake should not make the clicking sound. Gears. Transmission. When in neutral, the engine can rev but no power is sent to the wheels. To change a gear. Release the accelerator, push and hold the clutch in. Select the gear. Now you can release the clutch smoothly while slightly accelerating. When turning the ignition, pushing the accelerator will help to start the car easier. Keep your hands in the 10 to 2 position. The push and pull method. To turn right, the right hand holds the steering wheel and pulls down while the left hand moves down on the outside of the steering wheel, taking the steering wheel and pushing it up, while the right hand moves up on the outside of the steering wheel. Repeat this procedure to complete the turn. To turn left, the left hand holds the steering wheel and pulls down, while the right hand moves down on the outside of the steering wheel, takes the steering wheel and pushes it up while the left hand moves up on the outside of the steering wheel. Repeat this procedure to complete the turn. Be sure not to cross your hands during these procedures. Pre-trip exterior inspection. Remember that you only have 20 minutes to complete the pre-trip inspection and yard test. With the examiner present, check under the vehicle for any leaks or obstructions. Open the driver's side door, unlock the other doors. Release the bonnet, boot and fuel catch if they are on the inside. Inspect the vehicle for possible damage from top to bottom, left to right. Get the attention of the examiner and speak clearly. The examiner must be able to hear what you say. Say, the right hand side mirror is stable, clean and not damaged. Point to the right side of the windscreen. Say it is free from cracks and is clean. Extend the wiper blade and say it's clean, stable and in good condition. Leave the blade up. Bend down, inspect the front right wheel and say, the threat depth is more than one millimeter all round. Air pressure is good, the tire sidewall is not damaged, the valve caps are fitted, there are no leaks. 
the wheel nuts are tight. Check the right lenses and reflectors for damage, cleanliness and stability. Open the bonnet. Mention that the oil, water, brake fluid and fan belt should be checked regularly. Check the bonnet, grill and bumper for damage. Check front license plate for damage, cleanliness, stability and validity. Check the left lenses and reflectors for damage, cleanliness and stability. Point to the front left wheel and say that it should be checked as the first wheel. Point to the left side of the windscreen, say it is free from cracks and is clean. Extend the wiper blade and say it is clean, stable and in good condition. Leave the blade up. Check license disc for validity. Say, the left hand side mirror is stable, clean and not damaged. Check for operation of left side doors and window winders if they are manually operated. Check seat belts for stability and damage. In the case of a bus or goods vehicle, check information plate for damage, cleanliness, stability and validity. At this point, if the field cap is on the left, check that the field cap is secure. Point to the rear left wheel and say that it should be checked as the first wheel. Check the left rear lenses and reflectors for damage, cleanliness and stability. Check rear window for damage and cleanliness. Mention that the spare wheel, jack and wheel spanner should be checked. Check boot, bumper and exhaust for damage and stability. Check chevron for damage, cleanliness, stability and validity, if applicable. Check rear license plate and lamp for damage, cleanliness, stability and validity. Check the right rear lenses and reflectors for damage, cleanliness and stability. At this point, if the fuel cap is on the right, check that the fuel cap is secure. Check for operation of right side doors and window winders. Point to the rear right wheel and say that it should be checked as the first wheel. Check for operation of doors and window winders if they are manually operated. Check seat belts for stability and damage. Note that the following are the most important to be checked. Check under the vehicle for any leaks or obstructions. Extend the wiper blade and say it is clean, stable and in good condition. Leave the blade up. Bend down, inspect the front right wheel and say the thread depth is more than one millimeter all round. Air pressure is good, the tire sidewall is not damaged, the valve caps are fitted, there are no leaks, the wheel nuts are tight. Check the right lenses and reflectors for damage, cleanliness and stability. Mention that the oil, water, brake fluid and fan belt should be checked regularly. Check the left lenses and reflectors for damage, cleanliness and stability. Point to the front left wheel and say that it should be checked as the first wheel. Extend the wiper blade and say it is clean, stable and in good condition. Leave the blade up. Point to the rear left wheel and say that it should be checked as the first wheel. Check the left rear lenses and reflectors for damage, cleanliness and stability. 
Check the right rear lenses and reflectors for damage, cleanliness and stability. Point to the rear right wheel and say that it should be checked as the first wheel. Check that the fuel cap is secure. The examiner will ask you to enter the vehicle. Check that all doors are properly closed. Check that the handbrake is up and that the gear is in the neutral position. Check for obstructions on the floor or anything blocking your view through the front or back window. Check for emergency warning signs where applicable. Check that your seat is in the correct driving position. Check all mirrors for maximum rear view vision. Turn the ignition to the on position without starting the engine. The examiner will ask you to operate the front and rear lights, indicators, hooter and wiper. Switch the ignition off and return all switches to the off position. Check that the steering wheel is not loose. Check the pressure on brake and clutch pedals. Return wipers to normal position when instructed to do so by the examiner. Check that the doors are properly closed and that the passengers understand the operation of the doors. Remember that you only have 20 minutes to complete the pre-trip inspection and yard test. The starting procedure. Make sure that the handbrake is up. Make sure that the gear is in neutral. Make sure that no warning lights are on. Turn the ignition to the on position without starting the engine. Check that the warning lights and meters are working. Use the choke if necessary or make sure the choke is off if it is not needed. Turn the ignition to start the engine. Leave the key once the engine is running. Tip on starting the engine. When turning the ignition, one firm push of the accelerator will help the car to start easier. Check the warning lights and meters for any faults. Fasten your safety belt and ask the passengers to fasten theirs. Make sure your passengers know how to use their safety belts. Turn off the choke if it was used. If the vehicle stalls during the test, pull up the handbrake and put the gear in neutral. Push the foot brake in as quickly as possible. For manual transmission, remember to push the clutch pedal as well. If you do not make an immediate stop in a controlled manner in as short a distance as possible, you will lose 5 points. Remember to keep both hands on the steering wheel until the vehicle has stopped. Do not use the handbrake until the vehicle has stopped. Controlled stop. Try to keep the vehicle in a straight line. If the stop is not controlled, you will lose 5 points. Number of attempts. If after 2 attempts, you still cannot do the emergency stop correctly, you will fail the test. Mirror. If you do not check your mirror, 
you will lose three points. Blind spot. If you do not check the blind spot, you will lose five points. Indicate. If you do not indicate correctly, or you do not indicate at all, you will lose five points. Braking. If you do not use your brakes in the correct manner, you will lose two points. Disengage clutch. If you do not use the clutch to disengage the gears smoothly before the engine labors and stalls, you will lose one point. Clear space. If you do not maintain a clear space around the vehicle when stopping, in case of a dangerous situation, you will lose two points. Parking brake or handbrake. If you do not pull up the handbrake once you have stopped, you will lose two points. Parking brake ratchet. If you do not use the thumb button when pulling up the handbrake, you will lose one point. Neutral drive park. If you do not put the vehicle in neutral, manual transmission, or in park, in the case of automatic transmission, when you are stopped completely, and then in drive when moving off, you will lose one point. Indicator cancel. If you do not cancel the indicator once your vehicle has stopped, you will lose four points. Needless. If you stop the vehicle without having any reason to do so, you will lose one point. Overtaking. Mirror. Before overtaking, check your rear view mirror for vehicles behind you. If you do not check your mirror, you will lose three points. Blind spot. Check the blind spot for hidden vehicles. You will lose five points if you do not check your blind spot. Indicator. If you do not use the indicator or cancel the indicator before you are properly in the new lane, you will lose five points. Indicator cancelled. If you overtake and forget to cancel the indicator, you will lose four points. Clear space. If there's not enough clear space around the vehicle you are overtaking, you will lose five points. Mirror. Before adjusting your speed, check your rear view mirror for vehicles behind you. If you do not check your mirror, you will lose three points. Too fast. If during the test you are driving at the speed permitted for that road, but encounter potential hazards or unsafe conditions, you must reduce your speed or you will lose five points. Too slow. If you drive too slowly and become a hindrance to cars that are adhering to the speed limit, or if you obstruct the flow of traffic and become a hazard, you will lose one point. Acceleration. If while using the accelerator, your vehicle moves uneven and jerky, you will lose one point. Deceleration. If you do not release the accelerator smoothly to avoid jerking the car, you will lose one point. Braking. To change to lower gear, complete braking and release the brake pedal before pushing in the clutch and changing gear. Do not use your gears to assist with braking. If you do not brake smoothly and gradually, you will lose two points. Following distance. Use the two second rule of 1001, 1002 to keep a safe distance between you and the vehicle ahead of you. If you do not keep a safe following distance, you will lose five points.